Hello Virgo, Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. Working with the thought deck, going to pull out for our environment, connections, and contribution. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Please use your own intuition to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like to book a personal with me, you can do so on my website, amyenergy.online. All right, let's get into our environment here. Past, present, and future. All right, we're going to clarify with the Rider of Waite Smith deck. So, in our past energy here, we have the Prince of Swords. So, I do feel like this could be a, a lot of communication. All right, we'll get a clarifier. Yeah, I feel like we've been feeling, you know, a lot of momentum to get things done in our life here in the past. It may be a bit stressful with the Prince of Swords. It's a lot of, you know, mental energy, a lot of communicating. But we're really getting things done with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, with the moon here, I do feel like we could be at a standstill or we could be not knowing what's next, not knowing if our work is paying off. Okay, this could be our fears coming up here with the moon. The Wheel of Fortune is here as well. So really stay on your path, Virgo, what you've been doing. Okay, if it doesn't seem like it's paying off just yet, um, I do believe it is just a matter of time here, right? We're in divine timing. You're at the nine here with the hermit. so. You're almost there, right? It's that last look within. This is a very deep and intuitive time for you to really reevaluate where you've been before you close the chapter and move forward. Okay, two major arcana here in the present moment. So I do feel like it is a big change that is happening in your life, even if you can't see all the details right now. Okay, I feel like in the future, we're going to be getting a better idea of, you know, what we're planning, right? Like right now, I feel like there could be a lot that we're just confused about. But we are getting some clarity here in the near future. I feel like we're still going to be exploring different options. But we're going to have some idea of the plans that we want to make, the direction we want to go here. Yes, the sun coming out. So I really do feel like if things have been stagnant in your life, Virgo, here in the most recent past, you really took action. And it is going to get you where you need to go here. Six of swords on the bottom of the deck and the universe on the bottom of the deck. So we could be moving here. I see us in the near future maybe like looking at real estate listings, looking at where we want to go next, right? So really lovely. Okay, big life changes coming in. All right, let's look at our connections. Connections to Virgo. Oh, look at that. Universe really wants to pop out again. So, yeah, we're, a lot of new opportunities are coming in for Virgo this week, the week of the 14th to the 20th. Okay, let's look at connections, past, present, and future. Okay, so in the past, I see us very careful free here in this energy with the fool. All right, I definitely feel like 
we maybe have fallen in love with someone here in, in the past. Let's get a clarifier. Yeah, interesting energy. Okay, so with the Ten of Swords on the bottom, this could be a situation that's actually quite painful and has been for a long time. But it's almost like with the Hierophant, we do feel a sense of responsibility. And because of that, we are trying, we try to maintain a more carefree attitude with the fool you know it's kind of like we're just blissfully ignorant like deep in our gut maybe we know that this is painful that there's things that are unacceptable about our situation but i do kind of feel like you know we're not really having much of a choice but to face this challenge head on we do have some sort of responsibilities here maybe it's a work or a family situation that we can't get out of okay ten of cups is here so i do feel like it could be family it could be someone that you love like the ten of cups is when you really love someone for who they truly are okay um let's clarify this ten of cups this is in our current energy so you know this is happy home happy family okay this is real love here with the ten of cups this is satiety Cards are kind of okay. There we go. Ten of Wands. So there's love here, but it's really like a burden. There's sadness, there's loss here. Okay, I feel like we really could be in a family with someone. Right, or this could have to do with our family. It doesn't even have to be our own family. It can be like our family that we come from, our family of origin. Okay, but I definitely feel like the family connection is somewhat a burden on us this week, Virgo, um, in our current energy. With the Ten of Wands, it's like we're not going to be able to maintain much longer the way we're going no matter how much love is there no matter how much we may not want to face this five of cups this loss this emotional conflict and turmoil we we're going to have to sooner or later okay and here with the prince of wands in our future it's like we have to put ourselves first and we have to take action okay Let's clarify this Prince of Wands. I mean, but look at the card. It's just a beautiful card here. And I feel like that is your energy in the future here. We're going to have to get in this energy where we are taking action on what we want. Oh, well, yeah, on what we want to build here on our future, right? Wow, we're taking a lot of direct action towards what we want. Okay, I feel like this is a long time coming for you, Virgo, especially with all these tens, right? We're really completing a cycle in our life. I feel like this is big life changes. And we have a vision for our life, and we're not giving that up, right? We're going to do what we have to do. We're going to walk away from a potentially very comfortable and loving situation. Um, I mean, I guess comfortable isn't really the word. I feel like you've been, you've been kind of bearing the weight that maybe has made it comfortable for everybody else. And you're saying no more here with the Prince of Wands. You're moving towards your own vision. Okay. Let's get into personal... Personal for Virgo. Let me get a drink for Virgo. All right. 
personal for Virgo. Sorry, I'm hitting the camera. I'm trying a new setup this week, so I'm straddling the tripod here. Okay. Past, present, and future. Okay, Virgo, it's looking so good here, this reading, to be honest. So in our personal, we have the Ace of Swords, first card. This is the recent past, okay? And this Ace of Swords is you really getting clarity about what you need, what direction you want to go in life, okay? This is you putting yourself first, I feel, even if it's only existing in the mind. Okay. Temperance is coming out, so it's not, you know, I feel like maybe, you know, with the Ace of Swords here, this could be just the clarity that we needed to really start putting in the work towards whatever this is that we really desire here. Temperance is the alchemist, right? We're mixing the two cups together. We're working with what we have, all right? We're really working with all of the elements, three of cups on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like you have friends or people that you can talk to. Um, that's interesting. Okay. Interesting that the um, Three of Cups was on the bottom. Right, because the situation feels kind of serious to me. Even this realization, it feels kind of serious. And I feel like maybe you're not taking it so seriously, um, which could be a good thing. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's just been such a long time coming that you really, the seriousness of it has worn off right? In your current energy, you're just really able to do what you need to do. King of Wands. You know, I do feel like with the King of Wands, this energy can be a little bit, um, I don't want to say selfish, but it's really someone who's going to do things their way, right? And it might not be the way that everyone else thinks that they should do it. But they don't answer to everyone else. They answer to themselves, right? They have their own moral code. And, you know, I really see you having a victory here with these six of wands on the bottom of the deck. And I feel like it's through your own hard work, right? You're putting the work into what you want. And um, it's... A beautiful energy here right one step at a time Virgo you're gonna get to exactly where you're going like the king of wands similar to the Emperor you know really has a vision of where they want to go okay so one step at a time don't give up okay your future is the nine of discs game right and this is a really really beautiful energy okay this is self-sufficient this is also Venus in Virgo, okay? So I feel like, yeah, you're going in a new direction. You're moving forward towards your dreams. I feel like whatever's going on right now in this current moment, you could be having to deal with mundane details, right? Um, but after we work that out and get to this nine of discs, right? Wherever this is, whether this is the job that you want, the place that you want to be, the person you want to be with, even though I don't necessarily feel like, I feel like this is like getting you to a place where you can move forward towards a person you maybe want to be with, a, a dream that you have, right? Whatever this Knight of Cups means to you, it could mean something different for everybody. Um, 
Queen of Pentacles is over your reading. So again, this is like the Empress in action. Okay, you're taking action in your physical world. And this could have a lot to do like within the home, um, taking care of family, taking care of children, um, you know, a lot of like domestic things. So, you know, that's over your reading, but also so is the Princess of Wands. So, you know, I feel like we are sort of, it's interesting. I feel like we do embody both of the energies, but we are choosing to be selfish in some ways. And I mean that as a huge, like, like compliment. Like, it's not a bad thing at all. Like, I feel like you really needed, this is a long time coming for you to be putting yourself first. Okay, now let's get some oracles here. This is the Astro Elemental and the Airmail Oracle, both by Sarah Stacy, and um, her Etsy shop link is in the description box, so make sure you go and treat yourself to an oracle deck. Okay, let's let's see for our environment. Express. Yeah, I feel like your self-expression right now is very important. I do feel like even right now, um, you know, you have a lot of feelings coming up, a lot of fears with the moon. So I feel like expressing them in a healthy way through journaling or art would be really, really good. Okay. And then, you know, we have lovely self-expression here in the near future with the sun. So, you know, I feel like it's interesting because we do have the sun and the moon, both in this um, portion of your reading. And we do have a um, full moon in Leo in just a couple days from when I'm recording this, okay? So the week, it's on the 16th of February, right? So this reading's for the 14th through the 20th. So, um, you know, really focus on, on what you've been working on and, and being really proud of yourself for all that you've done. Okay, let's get a card for connections. Have hope is coming out. Love yourself is on the bottom. I do feel like um, it's interesting here because I feel like this is, I don't want this to get confused because I feel like this isn't like have hope for this family situation that you're in but it's have hope that you're going to be able to break free from that. Have hope that you're going to be able to put yourself first and that everything's going to work out for you. Don't um, get scarcity mindset around that. You need to love yourself and know that you deserve everything that you want. Right? Okay, getting into personal. Let's get another oracle for personal here. Take notes, okay, and protect is on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like there could be someone in your care that does need protection here, Virgo, because we did have that Queen of Pentacles coming out. So I do feel like there is sort of a balance here where, you know, we're, we're putting ourselves first, but there is still, you know, we're protecting maybe our home or you know, people that are in our care, even ourself, right? Um, but take notes is here. So I do feel like, you know, when in doubt, take notes from someone else who's done it before you, whatever it is that you're trying to do. It's a general reading, so I'm not 100% sure. But um, take notes. And if you are dealing with a situation, um, I don't even know why this is coming to me right now. Maybe this is only for some of you, but 
if you are in some sort of situation, um, where people are kind of against you for whatever reason, um, or you're just trying to make something happen, maybe we're even working with like a government system or, you know, anything, anything like that where we're dealing with like, because we do have the Hierophant in your reading. So if we're dealing with any like structures of society, government, or, you know, anything like that, make sure that you're just taking notes every step of the way, okay? Um, and that might only be for some of you again, but also, like, with this Ace of Swords starting out this section, it's like anything that's coming into your mind, like these flashes of the insight that you are getting, like, take notes, write everything down, okay? Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Okay, let's get you an angel. Manifestation, yes. So beautiful, Virgo. I love this manifestation card for you. We also have yes on the bottom. So whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling, you get a yes from the universe, okay? Let's roll the dice. All right, we have Aries. Yes, what have I been saying? Putting ourselves first. Emperor, Aries energy here. Eighth house, okay? And the moon. So we're dealing with emotions. We're dealing with potentially the eighth house. That makes me think even more of you could be dealing with some sort of legal situation or family situation that has to do with money, right? Other people's money. So, you know, or it could just be something really heavy. Like this is a major ending I'm feeling like we had a lot of tens in this reading right ten of cups ten of wands ten of swords and the wheel of fortune all of those are tens so there is an ending here we are ending a chapter of our life so that is a death and a rebirth right and there can always be a lot of emotion with that type of transformation here with the moon so Hold a lot of space for yourself. Let's read to you from the book. Okay, manifestation. Manifestation is the ability to bring our thoughts, dreams, and intentions into reality. The spiritual law of manifestation helps us create from deep within energies and experiences that lead us toward greater fulfillment and purpose. You are blessed to have received this angel card today, for it encourages you to recognize your power. You are a master of manifestation, and whenever you focus on something with loving thoughts and the best intentions, you bring that dream into reality. If you are working on bringing something to fruition at this time, whether that be a project, an opportunity, or even a miracle, this card lets you know that it is unfolding before your eyes. It's very important to stay elevated at this time and focus on positive energy, blessings, and the positive events that are happening around you. As you are magnetizing even more blessings into your world. All right. Love that, Virgo. I could see that too, like with that Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Pentacles and the Princess of Wands over your reading. Yes. We know what we want. And we have that connection to the earth. We've put in the work. All right, let's get you an affirmation for your week ahead. All right, I am valuable. Many people are thankful for my presence in their lives. All right, beautiful card. You can screenshot that, Virgo. Take that with you into your week. Okay, I am going to leave it there. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything you do to help my channel, I greatly appreciate. You can book a personal with me, amyenergy.online.
follow me on Instagram at Amy Energy, on TikTok at Amy Energy 3. Donate to the channel on Venmo at Amy Energy, but most importantly, have a wonderful week. Virgo, I love you. Take care.